Hi! I know it's been a while, so I'm so excited to come back and do January for your sign. Um, where I've been, I will, when I have some time, make a longer, more intensive video about that, if you care. But I think most of you just kind of want to know what's going on for my January. So this video is going to be a little bit longer. I had out my pendulum. I had out, like, seven or eight different decks of cards. I had out, like, even some, like, astrology dice. Um, so there's a lot in this video. And I will also uh, put somewhere on my website a little cheat sheet to help you get through the month. It's going to have your lucky days. It's going to have your unlucky days, the general theme. Um, what else does it have in it? Oh, of course your power crystal, your power color. It's going to have affirmations, which chakra you want to focus on this month, how you can spiritually evolve, blah, blah, blah. It's like the all-encompassing January. Like, get you off on the right foot right out the gate for this brand new year. So I'm so excited to do this for you and let's just get into it. I keep forgetting to mention this, but for those of you who um, don't know, if you go to my website, and there's like a link in the description box below, you can sign up to win a free reading every month. And so like you just sign up once and you're automatically in the drawing forever style. And so I just wanted to let you know. Hi Aries, welcome to January. So as I mentioned, there's going to be a lot of stuff in this video. Uh, straight out the gate, I think I just want to kind of talk about what is going to be going on for you in January. And what we get here is the Lord of Ruin in reverse. So this is like the Ten of Swords in reverse, okay? And what this is talking about then is your healing. And so how are you going to best heal? And they're saying, well, you know, it's by way of the last judgment, really. Um, it's about making the decision that now is time to heal, which makes perfect sense based on all the other cards that I had pre-planned that I laid out for you guys earlier prior to hitting record. So if you see here, it's kind of like, okay, this is like the end of times, right? Like in the Bible or in the Quran. And what it's saying, and it's funny because it's 55 seconds into this portion of the video, um, which is out with the old and with the new. It's like, okay, it's make it or break it time. Obviously, the way that 2018 went or 2017 went, like there are things that need to change now. Okay, what you were doing wasn't working for you in one area of your life or in many areas of your life. And so if you didn't choose this change, it is being forced upon you. It's January, so you might as well decide to get on board with the plan that, you know, spirit has for you because it's going to be a much smoother plan than the plan that maybe you had for yourself or, you know, where you were going that somebody else had for you. So anyway, um... There's a lot going on with this card. Like, it's really, it's got turbulence here. You know, there's somebody saying, okay, blowing the horn, like, this is it. And then there's all of these people here who are kind of, like, looking at each other, and they're just, like, hoping to go with this guy to get away from the chaos. And that's kind of what you have. So we're going to get away from the chaos of 2018 and years previous. And 2019, hopefully, is going to be a really good year for us. But it's about really kind of clearing the fog, like getting on that boat that the guy showed up with in the last judgment and saying, okay, I'm going to be clear headed and I'm just going to make this decision and I'm going to move in the right direction. So that being said, based on everything that I pulled for you, totally makes sense because your power color of the month here is indigo, okay? Indigo, purple, third eye correlated, right? And it's all about expanding our mind. It's expanding this cosmos, right? Like the horizons of everything. And so it's saying improving your vision. So by using purple as your power color, like whether you're wearing a lot of purple, whether you're using purple as a color ray to meditate, um, whatever it is you're doing, purple stones like amethyst, this indigo color is going to be the color that really kind of helps you out in the month of January. So 
what it's saying is improving your vision. It'll help clear away fog, like through ADD, confusion. Um, it'll help with insomnia, things like that. So it's a number 40 here. And 40 is about like four, meaning like things becoming stable, like a stable home environment, a stable work environment, very predictable and solid. And like creating a foundation that just expands with the zero that way. And then your affirmation card is also this purple color saying, I know what I'm here to do. So it's like if I want things to be solid and secure and just like be a great foundation for me to build my life upon, I know what I have to do now. Like I have made that judgment call and I'm ready to do it. So the trick to all of this is going to be trust. Okay, this is going to be the goal to learn how to trust your own intuition. It's saying you have a strong connection with your soul's loving voice. Should you be using your third eye chakra? Um, and so you can have faith in your intuition. So if you're praying for a message and you kind of get one, but you're not really sure that you heard it, trust your intuition. You really need to be trusting the signs and things that you're hearing. Um, whether that's clear audiently, whether it's just kind of like an inherent knowing that you have a hunch, trust that this month. What they're saying is you're um, likely to have these kind of epiphanies. So the Ace of Swords is about like new ideas. But this idea is coming from you, you being the sun. And your intuition's here in the background, see there with the moon? But it's like all of a sudden you have these new ideas that cut through these clouds of confusion, this like fucking fog that you were in before and this is because we're using this kind of purple energy to be able to open ourselves up to hear these messages cut through all these distractions whether those are other people's influences whether it was your own self-doubt um and kind of get like on the right path so we have all of this purple energy but right here right and then right here with some bluish throat chakra stuff same thing here um purple and blue we've got the blue here which leads us to that throat chakra energy right so we're going to start here opening up our third eye paying attention to our intuition kind of speaking our affirmations such as i know what i'm here to do um so that we can manifest what it is that we desire but also so that if we, if you don't ask you don't receive like if you don't ask your spirit guides, angels, whatever, for assistance, like they're not just going to step in and do it unless it's some sort of an emergency. So our crystal of the month correlates to that throat chakra. It's sodalite. So this is what it looks like in raw form. This is what it looks like tumbled. Sometimes people have um, lapis lazuli, they think, <laughs> but it's actually sodalite. So because um, they look a little bit similar depending on the quality of the stone. Anyway, more about this stuff on my website, but... Essentially, what it does is it aligns the upper chakras. So your heart chakra, your throat chakra, and your third eye. So this is kind of its purpose, right? But it also helps you to follow your intuition. It helps you to break addictions and unhealthy patterns. It gives you courage. Um, it helps you to find your own inner truth. It helps you to get rid of like things that are no longer serving you, things that are obsolete. You know, it, like I said, with the... Um, out with the old and with the new kind of vibe and energy that we have for this year. So um, all of this all kind of relates together, doesn't it? So that being said, um, when I had asked, like, what kind of spiritual hobby should you be maybe doing to facilitate, you know, these energies and they say exercise. So like if there's something that you're going to take up, exercise. You know what people say, like when I'm running, um, my mind gets really clear-headed. That might be the key for you. Exercise is going to be something really um, beneficial for you in the month of January as far as like having a spiritual kind of experience that puts you on the right path. Now, um, as I mentioned in like the intro portion, I was kind of checking to see what the vibes are going to be with my astrology dice here for each sign. And for you, they're saying your kind of vibe this month is Jupiter or um, expansion and luck in the 11th house, which is all about like society, friends, your wishes, your hopes, like how you want other people to perceive you. So 
Is it possible that maybe your reputation was a little bit damaged last year? Yeah, maybe a little bit, but you can fix it this year. And so that's what this is all kind of about. So for each person, this is going to be a little bit different, right? Like on an individual basis, that's the problem with um, doing general readings for each sign. But um, that's kind of the general vibe for Aries. And this would be for Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising, depending on what you're wanting to know about. Like, really, what do you... If you're a more emotional being, I would watch my moon sign. If you are wondering how other people perceive you, maybe my sun sign. Okay, anyway, point is, um, I also looked up your lucky days of the month. So for you, the 13th of January is going to be the luckiest day, and you don't actually have a unlucky day this month. So it doesn't mean that you're not going to have challenges, but it does mean that um, there's not like a specific day that is just kind of generally shitty um, for no reason. So, but your lucky day is the 13th. Um, if you're going to focus on one chakra this month, they say to do the sacral chakra is what I pulled for you. And the sacral one is what I often call the fear chakra. It's the one um, kind of on your private parts. It's the one that kind of it's about like your fears, okay? And it's about your addictions. And um, so that's oftentimes what inhibits us from taking this step on to like the next path. Like you may be afraid of letting go of someone or something. And so um, obviously your sodalite this month can really, really help you with that because this stone is also known to help break addictions and um, bad patterns. But Th that's the chakra that you want to work on if you're not interested in crystals or whatever. Like if you are the type of person who likes to meditate or whatever it is. Listen to sleep meditations on the sacral chakra, for example. That would be a way to help you out. So in regards to this whole vibe of expansion and luck in regards to, you know, the... Um, the society at large or your friendships, just like the way that people perceive you. What is it that you need to know this month? And they're saying um, that your focus and your drive is going to be very important. When the Seven of Cups is this way, it's all about confusion. But we already know like this month, it's all about trusting your intuition and these big ideas that just like cut through the clouds, that dissipate confusion. It's about like maybe even verbally expressing to other people, this is my focus, this is my drive, and people will respect you for that. Um, like maybe you're afraid that you won't um, be able to hang around the same friends because, you know, you're trying to better yourself. But if you're like, hey... This is what's important to me. Like, I got to stop it with this bullshit and I would appreciate, you know, the support of my friends. Um, they will definitely be there to do that for you and they'll actually respect you and like you more for it. Um, they will be very, very instrumental in helping you to achieve what it is that you want and what it is that you hope for and like kind of this goal setting. So is there anything else you need to know about January? And they say... Three of Swords, like this disappointment, this sorrow that you have is the reason, is the driving force for these needed changes. So you might start out kind of in the beginning of January feeling sorry for yourself still. But you get to decide okay, with that last judgment card too, right? Like this is in the past. It's not now. Like moving forward, this is how things are going to be and I'm going to take like my friends with me. Um, on this journey and they will support you if they're your real friends, essentially. Um, but other friends will be made like just by way of your positive example. People want to root for you. So um, they're saying some of you will decide that this is not the time that you're going to do this stuff. But like if you, de if you decide that you're not going to kind of follow your gut instincts and your intuition, if you decide that you are not going to be okay with being vulnerable and open and like speaking the actual truth about things, about your past, about um, the direction you want to head into, like the changes you want to make, if you want to cover all that shit up, well then you're not going to get what you want basically is what they're saying. They're saying like these wishes, these hopes that you want to manifest – into your life you can have them but it does require you to kind of take like a hard like a hard look at you know the past and the present and like yourself and go okay here's where I need to improve or these are the things that maybe I shouldn't have done before that you know like okay I need to make up for those mistakes moving forward I need to like change this like I you're gonna you kind of need to like 
teach yourself that new possibilities can come into your life and they can be big and beautiful and wonderful. Like there are infinite possibilities for like the blessings that you can receive, but you're not going to start heading towards them if you're um, still going to kind of like try to bury past mistakes or if you are going to like maybe bury the truth because it's embarrassing. Like maybe you had some sort of a um, falling out with uh, a previous partner, okay? And it was totally your fault. Like maybe you cheated or maybe you whatever. And you don't want to tell people that because it makes you look bad and maybe like it um, – other people might go like in the future like, oh, I don't want to be with that person because they were a cheater or whatever. But actually the opposite in this case is true. Like especially in the month of January, like when you're going to try to make changes, um, if you're open and you're vulnerable and you kind of say like, oh, well, this is what happens, P people see you as more human because Aries are generally sometimes hard to approach because you're so confident, right? Like people kind of wonder about you, like are you even a real person? Like what are you about? Like you're so driven, you're so in control um, all of the time, like you've always got your shit together, like you're intimidating, like it humanizes you more and it makes people respect you more when you have that ability to be vulnerable. So just things to consider, but that might be part of this big epiphany you have where it's like, okay, things aren't going the way that I want. Like I'm not manifesting like as quickly as I want the things that I desire and it's like poof. All of that confusion as to why that's not happening just dissipates when you can be like real and open and honest and you can trust this um, stuff that's coming through. You already know what you have to do, but maybe you have some fear associated with that, which is why they're like, work on that safe girl chakra, bitch. Anyway, January. I love you so much. Good luck. I know it's not going to be easy, but I'm here for you for a personal reading if you need my assistance or some help or like some even more focused guidance. Okay. See you in February. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!